Go ahead, give the HTC U11 a squeeze. You won't break it. What you will do is launch an app like the camera, the flashlight, the voice recorder, even Facebook or the dialer. The U11 is the first phone that has pressure sensors built into the frame. You can set it up to open two different apps this way. For example, a short squeeze might open the camera. Give it another quick squeeze and you can snap a picture. A long squeeze can turn the flashlight on and off. You get the idea. It's interesting and innovative for sure, and a handy way to launch the camera. Not good for taking steady shots though. I do like that you can program it to open just about any app. While squeezing to open an app is the phone's flashiest feature, it's all the other high-end stuff that's gonna make you want this phone. Like its crisp 5.5 inch screen, the very latest Android software, and the design that makes it look like a pool of melted glass. Warning, it's extremely reflective and easy to smudge. In addition to that, the U11 has Qualcomm's fastest processor. There's a 12 megapixel camera on the back and a 16 megapixel wide angle lens up front. And guess what? They're both pretty great. There's a micro SD card for external storage and the phone is water resistant for up to 30 minutes in a meter of water, or in other words, three feet. You'll get a fingerprint reader, but no headphone jack. Sorry, you'll have to use the USB-C port to plug in your wired headphones. The U11 also has HTC's artificial intelligence software on board, which can learn your habits and make certain recommendations based on your schedule. And in addition to Google Assistant, it will incorporate Amazon's Alexa soon. So is the U11 worthy of your hard-earned cash? Definitely, but you'll want it because it's a good phone, not just because you can squeeze the sides.